also want to take a look at the CDOT camera I-70 through a downtown Denver there. I want to bring this up because this morning the drive along I-70 in Denver is new and improved. There was that major shift in the Central 70 project just reopened this morning and our Justin Adams is tracking the first commute through the new tunnel. How's it going, Justin? Well, Mackenzie, believe it or not, take, the, take a look at this. Three and a half months ago, there would have been a viaduct right behind me, and now that viaduct is gone, and the new lanes on I-70 going eastbound are here to stay with the Central 70 project. Take a look at some copter video shot from earlier this morning, and you can see that the eastbound lanes comes with three general purpose lanes and also an express lane as well. But here's the biggest thing about this new tunnel. It comes with four safety features. Nine jet fans are used to clear out any air quality issues. The sprinkler system will help to control any fires in the tunnel. A public address system is used just in case anyone is walking through the tunnel and lights are placed inside the tunnel to match the lighting on the outside so that drivers won't experience a shock when they enter and exit the tunnel. Overall, CDOT believes that drivers will enjoy the ride on these freshly paved roads. And then commuters, I think on Monday morning, are going to be uh, amazed at the quality of the ride, how smooth it is. Right now, they're driving over a temporary situation with inlets in their wheel path, and it's it's rough, it's narrow. I think they're gonna be amazed at, at how smooth this is and what a quality product it is. It sure is smooth. Now, there is one more change on the Central 70 project, and you're looking at it right now. The temporary barriers on the westbound lanes of I-70, there are expected to be removed and placed into the final configuration by mid-September. Then there's one final thing that will happen on the Central 70 project. There'll be actually a park placed on top of the road that you see right here. That's expected to happen sometime next year. In Denver, Justin Adams, covering Colorado First.